What's going on guys, Garrett here from Maverick Abrasives. In this video, I'm gonna be going over compound bars. Now there seems to be a lot of confusion as far as what color goes for what. Uh, totally understandable, I deal with this all day so I know what goes with what, but in this video, I'm gonna break it down for you that way you know uh, what bar to buy for what metal you're polishing, okay? So uh, we're gonna take you through the process going from, uh, well, what's my right uh, to left, I think would be your left to right, but uh, essentially, so we need to think about this in the, in the terms of what metal are you polishing, okay? If you're polishing aluminum, we're gonna wanna go with slightly less aggressive bars versus if we're doing like stainless steel polishing or steel polishing, okay? Stainless steel and steel are gonna be in the same category, so we're gonna group those together, and then aluminum is gonna be in its own group. So starting with aluminum, what you're gonna wanna do is typically, obviously you're gonna have your sanding process, Okay, depending on how bad the aluminum is or the sheet or whatever it is that you're polishing. Uh, typically, uh, what we find is that with the aluminum, which is our uh, brown bar, this is our Tripoli bar, this is gonna be the first step. This bar is gonna take out 400 grit and 600 grit scratch marks. So some people will go up to 400 grit, some people will sand up to 600 grit, and then they'll go into their metal polishing process. The first bar being the brown bar, which is this one, the Tripoli bar. Okay, from this step, uh, what you would do is go into a second step, uh, which would be the green rouge. So the green rouge, one of the most popular bars you can get, almost every industry uses this one. Uh, it's a finer finishing bar. Um, this one has a green chromium oxide in it. So as far as uh, when you're polishing, it's gonna give, give you a little bit of a darker, richer luster uh, in your aluminum. So basically this would be your second step, which obviously you're gonna pair with the buffing wheel, could either be uh, a stitched buffing wheel or an airway buffing wheel, depending on your preference. Uh, the, newest, uh, the newest in the industry would be the airway buffing wheels, but I know a lot of people also use the stitched wheels. Uh, so that's gonna be your second step. Uh, then now this is where things get a little bit more confusing because you have a bunch of different colors that are super fine finishing bars. A lot of times it comes down to either preference it can come down to what you've been used to using. You know, some people have been using a white compound bar for 15 years and that's what they're used to. And um, that's great too, uh, just it, it's up to you. We have uh, a certain bar that we have that's our preference because we just think that it's the best finishing bar you can possibly get. But again, if you're used to using blue, great. If you're used to using white, um, that's up to you as well. Or you can stop at the green, which I always say like nine out of 10 people can't tell the difference between uh, like a green, stopping at the green bar versus going that third step, which would be in my preference, again, the purple, but uh, the purple, the blue, the white, and the pink, they're all kind of in the same category, uh, but the purple uh, being the finest finishing. Uh, another thing I do wanna say is some things here are relatively industry standard uh, as far as like the brown bar, uh, the black stainless cutting bar, the green rouge, the blue rouge, the white rouge. Uh, all of those bars that I just mentioned, uh, for all the manufacturers basically, they're all equivalent as far as grit. So there's no like, uh, our grit is different to somebody else, or I'm sorry, our green bar is different to somebody else's green bar. Um, obviously there's like a few little proprietary things that are different, but as far as what they're used for in the marketplace and the uh, overall grit, it's generally the same. So uh, that's a general compound breakdown for the aluminum. Again, we're gonna go over the brown, uh, to the green, and then that third step if you want, we recommend the purple, but you can also use the white or the blue uh, if you want. Now, if we're gonna talk about polishing uh, stainless steel or steel, remember we're putting those in the same bucket, uh, basically you would start with the black, which is called the stainless cutting bar. It's gonna be a dark black like this, uh, not to be confused with the other bar, which is a black magic, which is more of a, a cut and color type of bar, okay? This one's gonna be a much more aggressive bar, for cutting stainless. Usually you would use this with either a sisal buffing wheel or you would use it with like a heavy cutting airway or conventional wheel. Okay, this is actually a very heavy bar comparatively because of uh, the ingredients that are in it, but this is gonna be your first step for cutting stainless or steel. And then from there, you can either go to, uh, well, you really should go to the green rouge. Again, so this is the same step as with the aluminum, but you're gonna use the green rouge for your second step. Um, again, from here, the, the process is pretty much the same. You can stop there if you want, or if you wanna to go to a finer finishing bar, then you can go with what we recommend is the purple. We do also sell the blue and the white, as I've mentioned. Uh, you're more than welcome to order that, but we do recommend the purple. This is gonna be your absolute best finishing bar that you can get. 
Um, those are the two processes that we recommend, uh, one for aluminum and then one for stainless. So that's our uh, bars in a nutshell. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention is our pink bar. So the cool thing about this pink bar, it's a fine finishing bar. This one is typically used for plastics like G10. Uh, it's used on woods, uh, used on like composite type of material. Uh, if you're sanding those types of materials, the pink is what you're gonna wanna go with. You're not gonna wanna start with any like these heavier cutting bars like the uh, brown or the black. So this is what you're gonna wanna do. Uh, and that's all I pretty much have to say about the compounds. But if you guys have any questions, please send us an email sales at maverickabrasives.com. My name is Garrett. I'm the one that responds. I'm one of the owners here. Uh, happy to answer any questions. And we also do sell all of these bars in bulk by the drum, which you see right here. Uh, these are generally between 500 and 750 pounds per drum. This is how you're going to get your absolute best pricing versus buying by the bar, which we sell you know, here on our website. To get the drum pricing, please shoot us an email sales at maverickabrasives.com, or you can give me a call 714-646-3299. Thank you so much, guys. Talk to you soon.